things you didn't know actually have a purpose. Part six, the little diamond shaped thing on a backpack. These are called lash tabs or pig snouts and they're used to run cord through it in order to hold extra gear if you're camping or hiking, but now they're on most backpacks anyway that aren't even used for that. Next is that mini pocket inside your jeans. Now most of your jeans have this and it's used to actually hold a pocket watch back in the day, but now that people don't really use those, it's more of just a fashion thing. Number three is the hole in your airplane window. And it actually has two purposes. The first is just to stabilize the pressure inside the cabin so when you're rising, the windows don't just burst out. And number two is that airflow also helps the windows not fog up with all the hot breath inside of the airplane. Number four is the hole in the top of the McFlurry spoon and most of us have learned that's not a straw. So what is it? This is actually where it attaches to the machine that whips up the ice cream to make it an actual McFlurry. So it's not actually a straw. Things you didn't know actually had a purpose, part five. Number one is the stickers on fruit. The stickers mark the country and the producer. However, the numbers mean something as well. If there's four digits and the first number is a four, that means that fruit has been sprayed with pesticides. If there's five digits and the first is a nine, that means that fruit is organically grown. And if there's five digits and the first is eight, that means the fruit has been genetically modified. Next is those black dots you see on the windshield. This is called the frit and it has a couple purposes. First, it protects the sealant from the ultraviolet rays that holds the glass in place. It also conceals dirt that gathers along the edges. And the reason the dots are like this and they go down and smaller is just to make it easier on the eye than straight lines or just stopping. Next is a little arrow next to your fuel gauge. This actually points to what side of the car your gas tank is on if you ever were to forget or be in a random car. Things you didn't know actually had a purpose, part four. Number one is the colored circles on the bottom of chip bags. These are called printer's color blocks and they're indicating what hues of color were used on that packaging. And you'll also see this on things like magazines or cereal boxes. Number two is that weird back belt on the back of coats or shirts. This is actually called a locker loop and it was used to hang it on in hooks inside of locker rooms. Also in the past, if a man was single, he would leave the loop on. If he was taken, he would cut it off. Next is the long neck on a bottle. It's probably poor like this. The reason that the bottle has a long neck, one, it makes the sealing process easier. It's easier to get a strong seal on a smaller surface as well as a place to hold. And it's also easier to drink from a smaller hole than a huge one. Things you didn't know out of purpose, part three. The metal plates on the end of staplers. You probably assume they're just there as reinforcement, right? They're not. You usually can unscrew the bottom of the plate under the stapler, but the purpose is to spin this around to do a temporary staple. So instead of the staples folding inwards, they fold outwards so it's easier to remove later on. Number two, pom-poms on hats. Nowadays they're just used as decorations, but they're originally used by the French Marines for when they were in a low ceiling in a ship deck that if they hit their head, it wouldn't hurt as much. Next is the side tabs on aluminum foil. If you push the little side tabs in, it gives the roll something to spin on so it's a lot easier to spin and then tear. Next is that little hole at the end of the tape measure. This is actually used to be able to use the tape measure by yourself. You attach it to the end of a screw or a nail and then you can use that tape measure yourself and don't need a second person to hold it. Things you didn't know that actually have a purpose. Number one is the loops on a grocery cart. So you see the little loops? Those are actually for hanging bags that have more fragile items like eggs or bread that you don't want smashed. And a lot of times those are even on the seat that folds up. Number two, the side holes in Converse and other shoes. A lot of people assume these are for airflow or for fashion, but they're not. Converse were actually originally basketball shoes and these were actually used to lace up the shoes to get the best fit possible for each person depending on their foot size. Number three, the hole in the spaghetti spoon. The spoon is usually just to help drain water, but a lot of spoons actually have measurements on them. So that's one serving of spaghetti that you can fit in there dry. Number four, the hole in the top of a pen cap. The hole is specifically designed so if a child swallows it, air can still travel through and they won't choke to death if they swallow it because we know a lot of people like to chew on these. Things you didn't know actually had a purpose. So you know these bread ties that you see at the grocery store that are on the bags of bread? The colors actually have a really important purpose. They're correlated to what day the bread was baked and the colors go in alphabetical order. So if it was made on Monday, it's gonna be blue, Tuesday, green, and so on. And that's how you can get the freshest bread at the grocery store. Detachable car headrest. Why does it come all the way out? So you can change it? No. So you can use the ends of this to actually break a window in case of an emergency. 
So have you ever noticed the little color things, the red you see, the black, the green little squares at the end of toothpaste and other bottles? What are those actually there for? They're there during manufacturing to say whether the packaging should be folded, cut, or other. The ends of toothpicks are actually used for something. So you see the little ridges in them? They're used to actually break off and hold up your toothpick to keep it more sanitary when you're putting it down. 